Camel Up is a 3 to 8 player game for ages 8 and up with an average gameplay length of 30 to 45 minutes, published by Pretzel Games. The basic rundown for Camel Up has players taking a single action on their turn. The actions range from taking a betting ticket, placing a spectator tile, betting on an overall winner or loser, and taking a pyramid ticket to advance the race. At the end of each leg, score. The game ends once a camel crosses the finish line. To set up the game, place the game board in the middle of the table. Separate betting tickets by color and stack them from lowest to highest payout, and place them on their matching colors on the board. Place the five pyramid tickets in the location by the tents. Place all Egyptian pounds near the board and give each player three Egyptian pounds. Also give each player five finish cards of one character and a matching spectator tile. If playing with six or more players, give each player a partnership card matching their character. If less than six players, partnership cards are not used. Next, roll each colored dice to determine the starting positions on each camel. Place all camels that match the dice that rolled 1 on space 1, the camels that rolled 2 on the 2, and the camels that match the dice that rolled 3 on 3. Stack all camels on the same location on top of each other and make sure they are all facing clockwise. Then place all dice into the pyramid. Then roll the gray die and place either black or white camel on the space 16 if 1 is rolled, space 15 if 2 is rolled, and space 14 if 3 is rolled. Then roll the die again and place the other camel the same way. Make sure these two camels are facing counterclockwise and put the gray die in the pyramid. Close the pyramid and place it in the center of the board. Give the first player marker to the youngest player and now you are ready to begin. Starting with the first player, each player will take turns doing a single action of their choice. One action that can be taken is taking a single betting ticket. You can choose any color betting ticket, but you must take the topmost ticket. Place it in front of you until the end of the leg. There is no limit to how many tickets you can collect throughout the leg of the race. The second action that can be taken is placing your spectator tile onto the track. The tile has two sides. You can place it any side up, but depending upon which side is up will determine which way the camel will go when landing on it. If a camel lands on your tile, no matter which side is face up, you gain a single Egyptian pound. Also, if it is on the cheering side up, the camel and any other camels on top of the camel that lands on it will move forward one space. If the booing side is face up, the camel will move backwards a single space. If there is another camel there, place the camels moving back underneath the camels that are already in that space. Little side note, when Crazy Camel gains or loses space due to spectator tile, they move forward or backwards based on their direction, not the direction of the other camels. Also, spectator tiles can only be placed on an empty space and no spectator tiles can be placed on the one space, nor can a tile be placed next to one already on the board. The third action that can be taken is betting on an overall winner or overall loser. To do this, you will play one of your character cards in the color you think that will either win or lose on its appropriate stack. You can do this action as many times as you have cards, but beware, the cards will stay there until the end of the game, and every card that is wrong will lose you one Egyptian pound per wrong prediction. However, depending upon how early or late you were to get the right answer, you can win anywhere from 1 Egyptian pound to 8 Egyptian pounds. But more on that at the end of the game. The final action you can take that will move the race along is to take a single pyramid ticket. Once you take the ticket, you will immediately lift the pyramid, flip it upside down, shake it, and then hold it 
a couple inches above the board and push the button on the side that looks like an entrance to the pyramid and a die should fall to the table. The color of the die will indicate which camel will move and the number will determine how many spaces the camel will move. The only time this changes is when the gray crazy camel die falls. The color of the number on the gray die will determine which crazy horse camel moves and how many spaces. When moving a camel, all camels atop the camel move. And if the camel ends on a location with another camel, it will be placed on top of that camel. After the camel or camels have moved, place the die on one of the tents. This action can be taken until the last ticket is collected and the fifth die is rolled. Once the camel is done moving, the leg of the race will end. Once a leg has ended, you will score for the leg. To score the leg, each player will look at any and every betting ticket in front of them. If the camel color is leading the race, you will gain five, three, or two coins depending upon the ticket or tickets you have collected for this leg. If you have any betting tickets for a camel that came in second, you will gain one coin per ticket. And if you have a betting ticket for any camel that came in third, fourth, or fifth place, will lose you one coin per ticket. Additionally, if you have any pyramid tickets, you can collect one coin for each ticket. Once all players have collected or paid the coins for this leg, reset the board. Do this by returning all betting tickets to their appropriate stacks and put them in the same order as setup. From bottom to top, two, two, three, five. Return all pyramid tickets to their location. Collect your spectator tile if it is on the board and place the five dice back into the pyramid. Then pass the first player marker to the left and they will start the new leg of the race. The game will continue with each player taking a single action until the end of the next leg where they will score once more. The only time a leg will be cut short is if a camel crosses the finish line. It can be a normal camel or a crazy camel. Score the leg like normal, then proceed to end game scoring. Collect the stack of overall winners and flip the stack face up. In order, the player who first played the correct winner card will receive 8 coins, and the next player will get 5 coins, and so on. Any bets that were not the winning camel will have to pay 1 coin for each of their character cards that were wrong. The overall loser bets are paid out the same way. If losing camels are stacked, the lowest camel is considered the overall loser. And if winning camels are stacked, the topmost camel is considered the winner. Once all bets are paid, the player with the most Egyptian pound coins is the winner. If playing with six or more players, an extra action option that can be taken is trading partnership cards. If you have a partnership card face up in front of you, as an action you may trade it with another player who has a face up partnership card. They may not refuse, so trade cards and place them down in front of you for the remainder of the leg. Once the leg ends, you may choose a single betting ticket or pyramid ticket your partner has and score it in addition to your own for the leg, but you are not obligated to especially in the case of your partner only having negative tickets. After scoring, return all partnership cards back to their original owner and place them face up in front of you to signify they are available for the next leg. And that is how you play Camel Up. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notified about new videos. If you're bored now, click this for more games.